Hello, good morning class. Okay, today uh, we will continue our last subtopic for the salt that is a qualitative analysis. Okay, at the end of this lesson, okay, you will you should be able to first identify the cation and anion. So the test for the cation first and anion. So you know cation that is a positive charge and ion is a negative charge okay present in a salt through an experiment and the second is describe the confirmatory test to identify the cation and anions so we confirm uh, we confirm back the test you do the confirmatory test to confirm the cation and an ion okay step in a qualitative analysis of a salt okay firstly you must observe the physical properties of the salt either that is a soluble salt insoluble salt the second effect of the heat on the salt okay heat of a salt uh, does uh, for the previous lesson we have learned about the is effect of heat of the salt uh, carbonate and uh, chloride ion and the others test for an ion and cations and that is a confirmatory test so now we have add a test for an ion and cations okay when you look at your textbooks okay textbook that uh, have a lot of the uh, text huh? text but uh, we will do we will go to our textbook uh, after we look my presentation for the powerpoint okay okay first test for presence of anions okay here the test uh, for the anion you have learned okay you have learned the anion in the salt they are carbonate chloride sulfate and nitrate let's we go to for the first is a test for carbonate ion so carbonate ion co3 2 minus Okay, carbonate ion. So, masihkah kamu ingat? Okay, masihkah kamu ingat mengenai the soluble and insoluble for the carbonate? Okay, where what the salt soluble in carbonate, what the salt insoluble in carbonate. So, for the carbonate salt, all are soluble, insoluble except sodium, potassium, and ammonium. So, we go how to identify the carbonate salt carbonate salts how do we can uh, identify that is a carbonate salt okay so for the first test for the carbonate salt okay we dilute the when dilute acid okay for the example hydrochloric acid nitric acid or sulfuric acid is added to an aqueous carbonate salt okay carbonate salt kita masukkan dalam uh, satu tabung uji yang ada carbonate salt so if the effervescence is occur so that is a confirm that is a carbonate ions and the gas evolve turns lime water to the milky ataupun chalky so gas uh, carbon dioxide is produced indicating the presence of the carbonate ions so this is test so uh, you must uh, state the volume of the dilute self hydrochloric acid you add and the echo solution x you put okay, if the uh, lime water is become to the chalky so that is a confirm that is a carbonate Ion. So you will look to the chloride ion. Okay, chloride ion, when dilute nitric acid is added to an aqueous chloride solution, followed by silver nitric solution, a white precipitate is formed. A white precipitate is formed. So the white precipitate, okay, the white precipitate is a silver chloride, okay. Silver nitrate solution provide the silver ions to react with the chloride ion to produce the insoluble silver chloride, okay. So now, okay, add excess the dilute nitric acid into solution X. Ini solution X ni kita tak tahu that is a uh, what the anion contain in a solution X. Uh, first, we dilute excess the dilute nitrate acid, then silver nitrate solution. Okay, silver nitrate solution. Okay, if, ah, uh, if the solution, if the solution become a precipitate, 
Nah, precipitate is formed. So white precipitate. So that is confirmed. That is a chloride ion. Okay. So next we test for the sulfate ion. Okay. When dilute, the method is when dilute uh, hydrochloric acid or nitric acid is added to an aqueous sulfate solution, followed by barium chloride solution. Ataupun barium nitrate solution, a white precipitate is formed. So white precipitate is barium sulfate. So barium nitrate and barium chloride solution provide the barium ions to react with the sulfate ion to produce the barium sulfate salt. Okay, barium sulfate salt. Okay, so uh, this is a step. Okay, first you add the hydrochloric acid. Jangan letak banyak banyak, ha? Huh? Okay, kalau dia nak, uh, if the question ask you to confirm the anion contains in the salt solution, so just only two centimeter cube, yeah, just enough. Okay, and add with the hydrochloric acid. Okay, to the solution X. And then solution X ni kita tak tahu anion what the content of the anion ah huh? so then we put the barium chloride and we add the barium chloride okay if the white precipitate is formed so that is a confirm that is a sulfate ion ya uh, contain okay barium sulfate so for the test for the nitrate ions so when dilute sulfuric acid and iron to sulfate solution are added to an aqueous solution followed by concentrated uh, concentrated sulfuric acid a brown ring is formed so that is a confirmed that is a nitrate ions ini pun best juga nak buat eksperimen ni okay first first we add 2 cm cube 2 cm cube of dilute sulfuric acid followed by 2 cm cube freshly made iron 2 sulfate solution into the test tube containing the solution X okay solution X then um, then uh, we add the concentrated of the sulfuric acid uh, concentrated of the uh, sulfuric acid okay that is confirmed if the brown ring is formed okay brown ring nanti kita akan terbentuk dekat atas ya. so brown ring form so that is confirmed that is a nitrate ion so this is the how what uh, the method of the anion so dalam kamu punya nota nanti saya nak kamu buat begini okay, so karbonate you tambahkan apa ha? untuk jadikan everversion occur chloride ion tambahkan apa untuk jadikan white precipitate sulfuric uh, sulfate ion so apa yang kamu tambah okay, contohnya macam tadi nitrate ion so nitrate ion tadi kamu kena tambahkan so sini tambah plus FeSO4 and concentrated H2SO4 ok faham ha? ok kemudian uh, kita pergi kepada seterusnya Ok, seterusnya sebelum itu kita pergi seterusnya Kita tengok dulu buku teks Apa buku teks cakap Ok, di sini dia kata uh, Example salt X is insoluble in water So, salt X may contain no asap uh, Ingat lagi tak? No asap But definitely not HPA and PBC uh, Nitrate uh, Nitrate ingat tak? Nitrate, sodium, potassium Ingat tak? Ok, so kamu kena tengok lagi balik So, this is the experiment uh, okay. Di sini pula Color of salt eh. Color of salt, Kalau blue solution contain uh, Confirm dia adalah copper ion Kalau brown confirm dia adalah Iron 3 ion Green pula confirm dia adalah Iron 2 ion So di sini dia bercampur uh, Bercampur Dia tengok dulu dia punya uh, Color of salt uh, Color of salt okay, Di sini adalah color of salt So nanti kamu boleh tengok Dan di sini pula Dia punya uh, heat Ha, tadi pun uh, sebelum ni pun kita dah tengok okay. Color of residue if the black okay, Contain a copper to ion Kalau brown, iron to ion Yellow when hot, uh, when white when cool That is a zinc ion Ini semua kamu kena ingat ya. Okay, ini, so dalam ini kamu kena ingat okay. Gas produce pun di sini pun kamu ingat If the gas produce turn lime water cloudy So confirm that is a carbonate salt when a gas produce is a brown, uh, gas is brown and acidic, that is a nitrate salt. Then, others. Dua jadual ini perlu kamu buat tengok. Ha? Dan ini pun perlu kamu 
lihat balik warna ha, warna ini so itu baru untuk effect of heat okay so di sini nanti kamu kena buat test of the salt okay so an ion yang tadi saya cakap yang ini yang saya sudah terangkan so inilah nota yang perlu kamu hafal so, selalunya dia akan tanya kamu okay kalau dia ada nitrate ion okay what the method ah uh, method of the confirmatory method to test a nitrate ion so kamu cakap lah at apa at apa at apa so apa kamu kamu punya observation mesti cakap ini one mark ini pun one mark so two mark here okay brown green so ni adalah experiment to study the identify the to identify the and ion present in aqueous salt solution so nanti ini pun kamu akan buat eksperimen ini eksperimen ini kamu perlu buat okey ini yang kamu tadi yang hmm. buat ini adalah dia punya solu, uh, dia punya conclusion okey conclusion dia adalah carbonate ion okay, carbonate ion di sini bagaimana dia letak dilute what the observation inference kalau rajin buat uh, kalau rajin uh, buat Okay, kalau rajin buat. Okay, kemudian chloride ion, sulfate ion. Okay, kemudian. Okay, kemudian sulfate ion dan kemudian untuk nitrate ion. Okay, kita pergi kepada test for cat ion. Okay, test for cat ion di sini. Okay, apa cat ion itu? Cat ion adalah positif ion. Yang mana positif ion terdiri daripada terdiri daripada ammonium ion ammonia ammonium ion aluminium ion calcium ion lead to ion magnesium copper iron 2 iron 3 and zinc okay so for the test for the cat ion okay we have Uh, echo solution containing the above quant ion prepared by the dissolving a soluble salt in a water insoluble base in a dilute acid okay, except for the ammonium ion the rest of the cation in the list are metal ion okay, they combine with the hydroxide ion to form a insoluble metal hydroxide Okay, so untuk test for cat ion kita ada dua cara. Okay, pertama, firstly we add with the salt, we test with the sodium hydroxide solution, or with the ammonia solution. Okay, so nanti kamu akan melakukan aktiviti iaitu eksperimen. Okay, eksperimen ni sangat seronok. Kenapa? Sebab nanti kamu akan uji setiap satu yang salt ini pertama menggunakan sodium hydroxide excess small amount excess small amount of ammonia excess amount of the ammonia ini semua berapa banyak test tube yang kamu perlu letak okey ini pun kamu akan buat eksperimen and various color we will get okey so ini inilah yang penting di dalam test for cat ion okey di sini saya nak terangkan bagaimanakah cara untuk kamu menghafal Ah, ini kena hafal ah, You must remember this So for the cat ion If we add a little of the sodium hydroxide If if no precipitate So that is a default solution contain ammonium If no precipitate No precipitate that means that is a soluble salt soluble dia tidak dia akan dia akan larut ha dia akan larut if the precipitate is form okay when the precipitate is form is white so that is confer ah uh, that is maybe aluminium ion calcium ion lead to ion magnesium ion and zinc ion okay if blue precipitate is form so that is a copper ion if the green precipitate is form That is a ion to ion. When the brown precipitate is formed, that is a ion three ion. Okay. When the white precipitate, we add excess the sodium hydroxide solution. Okay. For the aluminium, lead, and the zinc. Okay. When we add excess the sodium hydroxide, so the colorless solution will form. Colorless solution will form. So, yang lain tu dia tetap akan kekal menjadi white precipitate. Okay, when we add excess. So, confirm dalam uh, solution tersebut ada tiga jenis ion. Aluminium, plumbum and zinc. Okay, so itu baru untuk uh, sodium hydroxide. Okay, kita pergi kepada when we add a little ammonia. 
Ha? First, when we add the ammonia, so if the solution, the salt solution is have produce no precipitate, that's mean that are soluble. So that is a confirmed ammonium, either ammonium ion or calcium ion. If the precipitate is formed white precipitate, so that is a zinc ion or magnesium ion or lead to ion or aluminium ion. But when we add excess of the ammonia, so the colorless solution will form that is a zinc ion. Yang lain akan kekal apabila we add excess ammonia, kekal menjadi white precipitate, tiga ion tersebut. Okay, blue precipitate. Blue precipitate, when the blue precipitate got, when we add with the ammonia, so that is a copper to ion, is same with the when we add with the sodium hydroxide copper, but when we add excess of the uh, ammonia to the copper to ion, so the dark blue solution will form. The okay, green precipitate sama, ion to ion, brown precipitate pun sama. Okay, itu dua benda ini mesti kamu ingat. Dalam bob salt that have a lot of you, you must be remember. Start with the solid bit, start with the preparation of the salt. And the second, how we got the soluble, uh, insoluble salt. And then, uh, action of heat, test of the gas ket ion and ions okey so dalam buku teks ah okey kita tengok ni satu okey ini okey contoh ya eh. okey add a few drop of salt solution okey if is no precipitate form so that is a ammonium yang macam tadi yang ini yang ini ah begini so no precipitate is ammonia so sama sajalah okey ini punya ah uh, gambar rajah ini sama seperti yang saya tunjukkan yang sebentar tadi. So ini untuk ammonia tadi untuk sodium hydroxide. So example kat sini lah. Okay, so X is a blue solution. So dalam blue kepala kau kamu mesti kamu akan akan terfikir that is a copper to ion. So ingat boleh senang kan? So confirm dia lah copper to ion. Okay, ini pula dia kata uh, salt solution X is colorless. Ah uh, colorless. Test for cation ion sodium hydroxide. Test for cation ion. So kalau colorless, colorless that is a maybe magnesium or calcium. So, kalau kamu uh, add sodium uh, ammonia, kalau add a few drop, if there no change, so that is confirm that is a calcium. Calcium, magnesium. So, ingat lagi tak? Ha, di sini, calcium dengan magnesium. Okay. Kalau kamu letakkan uh, ni, Calcium is no precipitate. So, dia adalah confirm dia adalah calcium. So, dia kata X is colorless. Colorless, so that's mean they have a no precipitate. Okay, faham ya? Okay, kemudian pergi kepada contoh yang seterusnya. Colorless, uh, colorless with a now. That is a aluminium or plumbum. Zinc aluminium or plumbum. So, kalau kamu letakkan ammonia, dia kata nak colorless. So, um, zinc dia tidak mungkin. Mungkin adalah aluminium dengan plumbum. Ha, plumbum, aluminium and plumbum. Might be present. White precipitate dissolve in a ammonium. Okay. Kemudian kita pergi kepada confirmatory test for the cat ion. Okay, confirmatory test ini pula yang ini. So kita ada empat. Okay, we have four cat ion. We want to confirm. Ah, uh, confirm. So for the first test for the ammonium ion, okay, we add the nesting reagent. Nesting reagent, the brown precipitate will form lead to ion. Okay, yang ini kita baca. Ammonia yang berharga, yang ini ada reagent. Contohnya potassium iodide, we test with the uh, solution of the lead to ion, yellow precipitate form. When we add NaCl, white precipitate, sodium sulfate, white precipitate. Okay, confirmatory for the ion two, so uh, K uh, hexacyanoferrite, so dark blue precipitate. If potassium manganat, purple color will be decolorized. Ion three. Uh, K4, Fe, Cn, uh, hexafenoferat, dark blue precipitate, and cyanoferat, blood red coloration. Okay. So, ini pun sudah ada dalam ini. Uh, 
ha, ini pun ada uh, hexa, potasnya hexasenafirat dengan potasnya hexasenafirat 3 ha, solution so ini adalah bagaimana confirmatory test so nanti ini pun kita akan buat di dalam makmal so ini adalah dia punya ini je lah kamu salin untuk kamu punya nota ok ammonium Nestle reagent brown iron 2 dark blue with, with the potassium hexasenafirat 3 uh, iron 3 dark blue hexasenafirat 6 of 3 KSCN blood red solution ok potassium hexasenafirat is used to confirm the presence of iron 3 ok if the solution is added to a concentration that contain iron 2 a light blue precipitate Okay, kalau potassium hexasenafirat 3 ini K4 ni hexasenafirat 2 K3 ni hexasenafirat 3 so the presence of the iron 2 ion if the solution contain the iron 3 the greenish brown color is obtained so kalau contoh dia begini so solution maybe contain a element of plumbum so a few drop of all potassium iodide if the yellow precipitate and we heat the yellow precipitate is confirm that is a plumbum ion so no precipitate form so ini tidak mungkin ha? no precipitate form so kualitatif ini pun kamu kena ingat so salt observe color dulu heatkan salt at this still water kalau soluble Uh, kamu kena testkan ion dia and ion kalau insoluble add a nitric acid and we test with the cat ion and on ion ok ini pun nak test so habis untuk chapter ini dan terlalu banyak benda yang perlu kamu ingat ok so test yourself 6.11 dengan achievement test so saya bagi masa sampai ke minggu hadapan minggu hadapan ya So, settlekan semua kerja. So, kita jumpa akan datang. Okay, thank you.